this is the place. Stay calm now. You've got no money, nothing to eat, and no place to sleep. You can't mess this up. You need this job. People say that the Mystic Mog is really kind and would help anyone in need. So, I'll just be honest and explain my situation before asking for the job. I should think about how I'll introduce myself. First impressions are important. Let's see. Something simple like, Hi, nice to meet you. My name is... Wait, I don't know my name. What do I do now? I said I'll be honest, but... Can I even get a job without something as basic as a name? Maybe there's a way around this. Hello, my name is... No. Greetings, I'm... No. My name... Hi. Name... No. Calm down. You have time to... Welcome. Hi. Nice to name you. You seem a little anxious. Something on your mind? It's... nothing. I'm just kinda nervous because it's my first day on the job. And? Well, things seemed a lot easier when I didn't remember... my criminal record. And I've started to think that someone may... you know... Super, no one has recognized you before. They're not going to start now. I know you're probably right, but what if- Super, listen. People only know Super Sonic as an all-powerful and destructive entity that resembles Sonic in appearance. Even if someone were to be suspicious of you, your personality and behavior doesn't match at all with that description. Because you're not that person anymore. I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. So are you ready to start the day? Y yes Then let's welcome everyone with a big smile. Sure. She has a really cute smile. Ebony is right. No one is going to know who I am. To them, I'm just a regular bartender doing his job. Welcome them with a smile and get their orders. Don't think too much about it. Welcome to the Groovy Train. May I take your order? Oh, sh sure. Hey, sis. The new bartender, wasn't he... Hmm? Really unsettling to you? Tufty. You know, he looks kinda... Tufty, you don't talk behind someone's back like that. And you're certain you didn't do or say anything else? Yes. I'm not even sure what I did wrong. They looked familiar, but I know I never met them before. You didn't do anything wrong, and in any case, I'm to blame here. No, Ebony, I- Stay calm, you two. We'll figure this out. Super, how about you recreate the scene for us instead? Sure. I walked up to them and said, Welcome to the Groovy Train. May I- Huh? Uh... Your face! Your face is the problem! W what? Don't say it like that. Don't worry, Super, it's not that bad. <laughs> Ebony! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so worried. I just can't. Wait, what's wrong with my face? Is it better now? No, now it looks too forced. Don't lower your eyebrows and try widening your smile. Okay. Like this? Ah, no, 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 it's even worse! Go back and please don't open your eyes like that. Uh... Now that's... Mm, still pretty bad. <laughs> Pajamas, you're being too strict. I need to be, because you're way too soft with the kid. 
Well, this isn't going to work like this. We should lend him a mirror at least. Mm, that's true. I'll go get one right away. I can't feel my cheeks. <sighs> you know that you don't really need to do this, right? I know that, but I want to. It's the least I can do. Hey, maybe we're looking at this the wrong way. How about we try something else? I'm open to suggestions. Well, if you can't fake it, then we need to make you smile for real. Okay. And how do we do that? How about... You try to think of something really funny. Something... funny? Yeah. Try to remember something that you found so funny at the moment you couldn't stop laughing. It probably won't be as funny anymore, but it'll still make you smile a little. Hmm... I couldn't stop laughing. I know there was one time when... Super? Super, can you hear me? Super, please say something. I think you just need some time to get used to things. I'm sure everything will come naturally to you once you loosen up a bit. Maybe. Hey, Ebony? Yeah? It's getting pretty late. And I already made you waste too much of your time. So... You should go home. I'll close the bar today. Mm, don't say that. I'm here because I want to help you. That's what friends do. I... Thank you. I owe you one. By the way, while we wait for pajamas, the face you did before. Can you do it again? I... guess? But why? I find it funny. Hey! Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Just a little. That's also what friends do. Is it now? Always. Well, I can't do it either way because I don't know how it looks like. Oh, that's easy. It was something... You're having too much fun with this. Like this? Hmm? <laughs> what do you think? Do I look pretty like this? <clears throat> yeah, sure. You look... Pretty awful. Oh? Are you making fun of me now? Just a little. Because that's what friends do, right? So... Fine, fine, I'll do it. But only if you do it too. Then let's see who can hold it for the longest. Loser has to make coffee for the winner. Fine by me. But you're always making me coffee though. That's why it's going to be a nice change when you have to do it. <laughs> We'll see about that. At the count of three, then. One. Two. Three! three. What is happening over there? What? <laughs> when did you get back? You just need a smile like that. I didn't notice I was smiling. I wasn't even thinking about it. That's probably the problem. Maybe instead of thinking about smiling, you need to think about something that makes you smile. Isn't that the same idea, Ebony? Oh, I get it. You planned this. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Mmm, not really. I was just having fun. I already told you, you didn't need to do this. Smiling at the clients was a suggestion, not a requirement. You did a great job today either way. <laughs> Besides, you have such a bright and sweet smile, a fake one can't even compare to it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Huh? On 
On another note, can you explain to me what you two were doing before? Uh, Ebony? Thank you. I've been meaning to ask you something. Are you perhaps a big Sonic fan? What? What makes you think so? Mostly the die quills and the sneakers. Ah, uh, well, my quills are not... I mean, you see... Wait, let me guess. You met him before? Maybe? Don't worry, kid. I get it. Most people are left a little... disenchanted after meeting the guy. You don't say. Ebony, don't talk to him! He'll kill you, you hear me? You're going to die! Mm. Guess I'll die then. <laughs>